Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and today we are on the Lost Island map. I've instructed Shez to build the community a beach house so we've got somewhere to log out in and check this out. She really hasn't disappointed. Just in spirit of the event that used to run through Valentine's Day, we've added this map onto the community server and Shez has built us all a little resort to come and chill out in. I mean, check this out. We've got pink canoes. We've got a swimming pool. It looks fantastic. And uh, yeah, you really have outdone yourself as always Shez and I do hope to do a video with Shez soon on interior decorating in Ark because it's something that I always forget about but I mean look at this something just as simple as mortar and pestles on the tables it looks great and I know all of these objects here I know that she's used the gravestones and chairs and stuff to make a sofa but it really just adds to any sort of build putting the rug down there it all looks great but today we're going to be taking part in the competition that's running and we're going to have to tame a Dino Pificus. It needs to be an ugly one and the highest stat wins. We do have a first and second and third prize of course and we'll see how well we can do. Shez is also doing some treasure hunts and riddles, all of this stuff going on just over the next couple of weeks. If you want to join in, well, just join the Discord. If you're on PC, we'd love to have you. But right now, we're going to go and tame ourselves a Dino Pificus. So let's head on out to the center of the map and to the castle. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to add the Lost Island onto the community cluster this month is I did intend to do a couple of cave runs here. In fact, the Lost Island has some of the most beautiful caves that you can find on Ark Survival Evolved. And that kind of ties into another video that I want to make, or should I say that perhaps YouTube is asking me to make with the algorithm, and that would be a top five video. I was thinking about a top five artifact caves on any of the maps and I don't think we can do a top five without including something from the Lost Island because there's some truly beautiful caves here. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as well. I'd love to hear your opinions on this one. Top artifact caves on any map. Which ones are your favourites? And I think I want to compile a video on that best caves to visit or something. Okay, on to the task at hand. And I've got a level 140 Dino Pificus down here. In order to tame these guys, you need to thin out all of their pack. So you've just got the alpha left. And you can only tame an alpha. You can't tame any of the juveniles or babies. Now, one of the things that I want to test is whether the player has to weaken the pack or whether we can just do it mounted from a creature. Let's just get rid of you. And being I'm on the back of the Phyla Collio, I can just shoot from its back. So let's just try this method to begin with. And honestly, this is how I tame actually quite a lot of creatures in Ark from the back of a Phylo. One of my favourite mounts. So now we need to weaken the alpha and he's just gone to eat his mate, so he's gone back to full health. So let's just get him down so he's got a little bit of health left. And I think this one counts, it has got an event coloured arse. Oh, Sarko. Oh, <laughs> now it's going to eat it, now I've got to weaken it again. Oh, you're going to force me to reload. Alright, let's just get his health down a little bit. Okay, so just going to shove some kibble on my end slot here and they are a passive tame. So there we go. Now, if you want, after you start the taming process, you could go on and use a Quetzal to carry it over to a safer place, but I'm going to risk staying around here. Oh, gotta just watch out for the damn pegos. Uh, no! Oh, you ratbag! 
Oh, where'd it go? Oh, Pego's just nicked my kibble. Oh, I'm going to have to go back and get some more kibble. Well, that didn't work out too well, so I've had to grab some more kibble. Use that one as a warning. Perhaps don't put all of your kibble on your last slot. Especially around here. So this one seems to have picked up a baby on its back, but it's made no difference to the team. Just waiting for it to get hungry again. This one looks a little bit more like an event coloured one, but not holding my hopes out here for anything too great in terms of points back. Okay, are you ready to eat? There we go, ready to eat. And we got ourselves a red baboon. Certainly pretty ugly, but only 21 points is our highest stat in stamina. So we're definitely going to have another crack at doing this. We can beat that. Doesn't matter what stat it's in. Could be in food, it could be in oxygen, but we need a high stat to be in contention to win. Now, I have just tested on the back of the Philo. You don't need to shoot the monkey itself, so you can use any creature you wish to weaken your tame and thin out the pack. And if I can find some more monkeys, I'll just demonstrate. And there's plenty of them around the castle and the redwood area. There we go, there's a couple just here. So, got an 85 and a 45, so we'll get rid of this 45. This time I'm not gonna shoot. And, don't wanna kill it, it's just, cause it's got bleed on it. And there we go, it's weakened it enough. Now it's ready to submit. And, there you go, so you can walk up to it, feed it. And, like I say, you could, after you've fed it once, just pick it up with a Quetzal. It would save things jumping out on it. But we don't want that one. Let's see if we can do better than that. In fact, I'm sure we can do better than that. So there you have it, that's how you tame yourself a Dinopithecus. Pretty easy, no need to make yourself a trap or to complicate things very much. You just need to thin out the pack with your mount or tame and then simply passive tame the alpha. And we managed to get 26 on stamina, 36 points on oxygen with our ugly pink looking baboon there. So 36 to beat. I'm just gonna throw my entry in here. You know, it's 36. It can be on any stat, it doesn't matter, but it looks like Commie's put one in that's got 44 on melee damage and uh, 41 in health. So Commie, you're in number one at the moment, but I'm going to throw my entry into the hat. So to beat me in second place, you need to find something higher than a 36. But you've got to be in it to win it. So by all means, the competition is open over the next week or so and uh, Shezza will be checking the entries. So thank you very much as always. I have been working hard in the background on the centre map playthrough. Of course things do take a little bit of time there because we're not modded and the playthroughs can take their time but I am ready to jump into that this weekend and I hope to get an episode done on that one soon. But I hope you enjoyed that one and until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.